Once upon a time, there was a boy and called Jack who had a old cow. Launched in 2008, Talk to Write is an exciting way of encouraging writing through storytelling. Oh, the project simply is to get a whole storytelling community, children, adults, families, staff, everybody a storyteller, skilled and confident and passionate about storytelling, and from that to develop children who write exquisitely. But why is storytelling vital to kickstarting creative writing in children? If they haven't heard and they haven't spoken, once upon a time in a long distant land there lived a giant. Once upon a time there was three bears. One big bear, one middle sized bear and one tiny bear. If they haven't heard that through the story, but they haven't spoken to that, that actual phrase, they'll never get to write it. Pegasus Primary is set in a pocket of deprivation in Oxford but is a beacon of creative storytelling. It's a storytelling school. It's what we do all the time, every day. Because you never know what you're going to learn and when it's going to come in handy. The bottom line is there's 15 minute storytelling in every class every single day throughout the year. Once upon a time... Storytelling happens everywhere, even in the playground. Here, pupils play storytelling hopscotch on the flagstone pictures designed by the Story Museum in Oxford. Grandma, what big ears you got! All oh, the better to hear you. We stenciled out images of the seven most common fairy stories told in Britain. And children walk along the grid telling the story as they stand on the particular step. One day there were three little pigs. They lived in one house. The mum said, why don't you build? one of your house. It's too, it's too busy in this house. So one little pig found some straw. Moving from step to step helps pupils recall the key plot lines in the fairy tale. Sometimes you'll see a teacher go out and use it, but possibly more important than that is at playtime you see children coming over and they're storytelling all the time at playtime. Once upon a time there was a little girl who had a who was called Little Red Riding Hood. But they're making it their own completely and, and if we follow their ideas, I think we'll go much further with storytelling. She took them out of her hand and, and threw them out, out the window. window. Resurrecting the oral tradition and encouraging pupils to make stories their own are key components of Talk to Write. Learning a text orally, whether it be a story or a persuasive advert or a list of instructions really helps them begin to internalise those language patterns. The next stage is innovation and innovation is where actually they use that basic structure and change it just slightly. So Jack took the beans home and happily skipped home and he, she, he said, Mum, Mum, I got magic beans. Beans? So she took them out of her hand and, and threw them, them out, out the window. window. What we did after the hopscotching is they worked with the same partner to tell the story again and still focusing on telling. I always get them to tell me the sentence first but make it more scaffolded, so more structured. They tell me the first sentence, do you want to improve it, but talk to it with your partner, then write it down and check it. Oh, I know, so I went know. Little Red Riding Hood. Giving. Went to yeah. milk. On until. It was dusk when they entered the forest. What is the connective you're going to use on the arrow? By years five and six, some Pegasus students are outstanding at translating ideas into stories. If only they could see me now. I'm in a pile, a tall pile. It's nasty hot and I'm not being worn. My other partner is missing. It feels so strange to be without him. Talk for writing, key tips I would say. If you're using story, choose a story you love. Okay. 
Second one, perhaps choose a story that you know your kids will love. There's no point choosing mermaids if you've got a classroom of boys. So think about your children, think about your stories. I feel lost, suffocated and lonely when a blackout night falls. Talking before any writing is the key important thing, whether it's storytelling or whether it's just talking through instructions and stepping it out. Since then I have been waiting there for my owner, but he never comes. Just more and more shoes are piled on top of me and now I know he's never coming back. Tips for teachers would include doing it every day. It isn't enough to do it occasionally. Doing it every single day, some storytelling. With you telling stories, children telling stories. Mm -hmm.